Okay, on the back half, <clears throat> I've got the mold barrier all done. Uh, on the back half, I just sprayed some pledge all over this because it'll release easier. The front's the one I got to worry about, and that's that's the last piece. So I'm getting ready to mix up a batch of plaster right now, and I'm going to show you that process. So here's my bucket of water. All I did was I keep a, that's another thing, when you're working with plaster, whatever you do, don't use your plumbing. So I scoop out the water out of that bucket, that's clean water, and this is for me washing my hands and stuff. Now, I, right now I've got the burlap soaking in that because I'm going to put a layer of burlap into the plaster to really strengthen that mold. Um, but I've got about 24 ounces of water here. I'm gonna add plaster to it right now. And you never add water to plaster, always plaster to water. Always remember that because if you, I'm not talking to you. Um, Did you do it right? I'm, 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 on, I'm making a video, mom. Um, you always add plaster to water. And let's see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this canister. Let's see if I can't get the camera up high so you can see the process oh I can get it real high what am I thinking okay How high do you need it? I need it to go pretty high because I have to To, uh, don't put it in front of the door. Well, you're not going anywhere right now. We, hold on a second. I'm trying to get this done. I don't. It's not going to take long. All right. Now watch how I do this. I got to, over here in this bucket. I'm going to take some of the scoop. I'm going to scoop this as I go. Making a v, uh, YouTube video right now, Mom. Well, yeah, but I don't want to be stuck out here while you're doing well, it. Well, it's not going to take that long. Huh? It's not going to take that long. Your studio door open or what? No. Are you going in right now? No. All right. In about 10 minutes. All right. Now, what I'm doing is I'm adding, I'm sprinkling this in a little at a time. And what I want to do is get it to where, I got to get it to where saturation takes place. Yeah, and that right. means, when, look, I'm talking, I'm doing a video for them. I have to get it to where saturation takes place. And that means I got to bring the, the plaster all the way to the surface of the water line. And it'll create like little, it'll look like dried out desert. You'll get these little forms of cracking, and then you want to wait about a minute, all right, to let that really soak in, this, the plaster. Because if you let it soak in for about a minute, you won't have to mix it by hand that much, and you won't get all those clumps. So we're not there yet. We're we're getting close now, though. I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying to sprinkle it in all the way around the, the perimeters and everything. I want it level. And I'm just taking a little at a time. A little at a time. All right, you see how we're starting to create islands here now? Okay, that's, that's where we're getting close. Those islands are disappearing still, so I don't want that. Still got it. All right, we are there. See, that's about there now. There's no puddles of water there. Now, what we want to do is wait till that all soaks up. All right. And once that's soaked up, it'll start cracking. You'll see the little cracks. You see the cracks forming? 
that's that's called saturation once that saturates it won't activate until this is saturated and you start mixing it never add water to plaster because you cannot it won't break down it, it won't give you the correct time now what i do is like if i got too much like a mountain of it i'll spread it out all right now that should saturate up real good right we're going to do this in real time so you can see um see it's starting to saturate now you're starting to see that white disappear wait about a minute and then I'm going to walk this over to the uh, the uh, sculpture and start mixing this up by hand and then I'm going to start applying it with a brush this is a process and man does it take time I've been out here all day and the key to success with these molds is make sure you are thoroughly prepped you have everything really right at your fingertips because the minute you start looking for things or you have to walk away from it you're going to go from plaster to stone in a matter of minutes so yeah you see how it's saturating now we got this little spot left i'm just going to spread that out a little bit that's almost completely saturated now I'll just stick my hand in there and just start mixing it. Make sure I get all the clumps out. Um, but I'm going to take this over to the porch so I can not block the doorway so my mom can get back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> or also somebody comes out, they can't get out either. Yeah. Angela tends to come out in the afternoon. All right, so we're going to go over here. And let me mix this by hand. Get this, my glasses out of the way because I don't need them right now. I'm gonna just get my hands in there and just start mixing this up real good. Get those clumps out. It's not real clumpy. Good stuff. This is Ultra Cal 30. Um, this is a very, very hard plaster. This isn't a plaster of Paris or um, nothing like that. Plaster of Paris, you never want to do a mold with plaster of Paris, trust me. Um, so. I'm trying to get all the lumps out. Depending on the humidity, um, humidity can cause this to cure faster. All right, we're mixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wash my hand real quick, grab my bucket. here get a brush I'm going to use the brush that I used so this way now I'm going to get the camera just so you can see everything I'm doing all right let's see yeah this ought to be good right here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush plaster into the seams right into that crack first I want that in there first I want that all in there first and make sure it's all up in here
Make sure those keys, those register keys are, are uh, the way this is looking this clay might be or this uh, plaster might be too old we'll see in a minute It's gonna be doing, it's gonna be all right. I think I just put too much of that wax in there. That's all. The uh, Johnsons are not the the uh, pledge. Put a little too much pledge in there. I'm just gonna make sure these keys are filled and there's no air pockets in there. You see, this this creates a little well, and what I'll do is I'll pull. Pull the plaster up onto the uh, sculpture from this well as it stiffens up. You know, this is the first coat. You want it runny because you want to capture all the detail, especially on the front of the face. you get un, under and behind those ears underneath because if you miss that that's going to be a bad it's going to be a bad day for you see underneath it here got to make sure you get that this will start thickening up soon As this gets thicker, I'll be scraping it off at the top like that. And that's one of the reasons why I want a thick mold wall. Because I'll be applying pressure and it'll be it'll be capturing weight. It's getting nice and thick now. Good day for this. I'm not going to be waiting too long. The plaster to, I'm hitting the camera. Okay, let me move it in a little bit. You see what you got? What do you got? And the light stinks. Let's see if you can. Any better? Ah. I guess I'm going to put a light out here, too, for this. Yeah, see how it's getting thicker now? The stuff's 
getting nice and thick. That's what we want. Yes, we do. reason why I do this uh, upright on the back first is because when I can, once this is hard as stone, I'll be able to lay the sculpture down on the back of its head and really capture nice detail in the front. Yes, sir. making sure this mold wall has no air pockets or no air bubbles. And I pull that plaster back up onto the, uh, up on, up, back up onto the sculpture. Very important. Yeah. Thick. Like it. I can't wait till this guy's done. This is going to be a really nice mask, I think. Yes, I do. And I, I don't think I know it. I know this is going to be a nice mask. Yeah. Now, what I'll do is once I get this first coat in and on, I mean, um, I'll let that harden just a little bit probably harden before I get it done anyway so See what I'm doing? I'm scraping the mold wall with plaster to make that really thick because that's that's going to be where I pry it when I pry it apart. That's got to be a thick plaster there. Keys are pocketed right in there, really nice. It's getting thick now. I love it. It's going to be a good day. Taking that extra time, doing that mold wall really nice. Definitely makes a difference. Definitely makes a difference. This stuff, this stuff, and this stuff cures, man. It is hard. Oh, man, is it hard. I'm getting tired already. Grab all that detail. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to cake it on. I'm going to start 
piling it on the top and let it run down. I'll let that well fill up a little bit. And you always keep mixing your, your uh, you want to keep mixing your plaster as you're doing this. Every time you stick that brush in there, make sure you mix your plaster. Keep it, keep it mixing. Keep it mixed. Yeah, it's getting nice and thick now. I mixed up a little too much on this first batch, but that's all right. It'll be real thick on the first one, that's all. And once it starts getting real stiff, I'll have to um, use my hand instead of the brush. I'm trying to be, I don't want to be too messy out here. stiffening up now. I'm going to pile this stuff up onto the wall. Don't mind me, I'm going to turn this a little bit towards you so I can reach this a little better. pockets I got to make sure there's no air pockets in there because that weakens the mold especially on the mold wall this is the mold wall in case you don't know what I'm talking about no air pockets in the mold wall very important you see a little pocket of air you got to get it out of there and it's starting to lose its That's it, man. I love it. This is going to be a nice mold. Took the extra time. That's, that's the key. turn this away from you now work on this side stiffening up nice now. really want to make sure I got plenty on that mold wall.
I'll smooth this down pretty nice once once I get it to the point where it's I'll get all the, the rough spots out see I'm pulling from this this little oops I, I gotta look to see if the camera's on yeah okay now you're a little better I'm pulling from this this dwell this little um, well of plaster and just pull it up pull it up pull it up yes sir you want it thick around the edges that's for sure yeah now this stuff's getting nice and thick man See, it's not it's not running like it was yes sir that's where I want to be now I can do that mold wall really good want that thickness there Perfect. It's going to be a nice piece. And I'm taking care not to put too much plaster on the outer edges. Cause I gotta grind that down whenever I, you know, if I make it too messy on the outsides. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Let me get this bucket a little closer. Especially back behind the ears. You want to make sure you uh, you pile it in there. Having that, that well is a good thing because you can pull away from it and just pull it right up onto the mask or right onto the sculpture. I mean, you pull it up out from the well, you know. stone real thick now this stuff's getting like peanut butter it's perfect it's curing perfect ratio today perfect day it's not it's it's not too humid it's well it's not humid at all okay this is really starting to now I wasn't I I just got done telling you always mix constantly mix side now and get that mold wall a little thick
arm's getting tired. We got time for that. Got to get this mold more nice, nice and thick. Almost time to get my hands dirty. Almost time to get my hands dirty. I don't want to waste any plaster. I'll make it nice and thick, that's all. Yep, okay, that's done. That's it. Okay, the next batch gets burlap. Okay, before I put that into the water, Okay, I'll keep my burlap over here. I gotta clean this bucket or I won't be able to reuse it. And brush. Salvage the brush. That's awesome. Now I gotta punch this out. See, this stuff hardens so quick. It's already hard in the bucket. That already hardened up. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pounce on the end of this. With You definitely don't want to mix old plaster with new plaster. You got to get this out. You got to get this all out of here, which is not hard to do. You just take a hammer and beat on the sides of the wall. I almost used up all the plaster. Now I'll dump this. Back 
clean that knife. How to clean that knife. Okay. Buckets cleaned. Now this batch, I'm not gonna mix it up on camera. I'm gonna mix this up, it's the same process. And this batch, I'm going to, um, oh, first of all, let me smooth this guy out. You know what, I need my hands wet. That cured up pretty quick already. That cured up pretty quick. Turning the stone. Just trying to take all the sharp edges off. That's all. You don't want to cut yourself. All right, so the next batch, what happens to that is I, uh, I dunk my, um, I soaked a bunch of burlap pieces in water in that bucket. And uh, now it's nice and moist, the burlap. Then I'll make a, a batch of the uh, plaster and then stick this in there. First, I'll coat this with one real thin coat of plaster so it grabs on. Then I'll start putting the uh, burlap all, on, all over this thing and then finish it up because it only needs one more coat. I only need one more batch for this side and uh, then it's done. But I'm going to take a break right now because at least I've got this, this part finished. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll, I'll, bring it, I'll bring it back once I have, I'll come back once I have the, the batch mixed up and ready to go. And then I'm gonna start putting the burlap in there and I'll show you that step. And uh, then uh, we'll declay. We'll declay and uh, you'll see the next step. You'll see the next process. I'm just really tired, folks. Sorry for tripping over my words. Be back.